Today I'm going to give away a free t-shirt, ask and answer a question, bring you comics news, and reveal the books I bought this week. How y'all doing? I'm Victor, and you are watching the Comic Girl Show. Now kick that intro! Show. I'm your host Victor Nunley and I am the Comic Hero. This is the conclusion of the Summer of Superheroes 4. Now, um, I had a poll and your job was to vote on the CHT that you wanted me to wear. And the, the and this is the shirt that got the most votes. It was it's the Deadpool Comic Hero tee. So, I'm going to show some love to the Merc with a Mouth, Deadpool. Now, Deadpool was created by Fabian Niasiza and Rob Liefeld and made his debut in the New Mutants number 98 in 1991. Now, when he was first created, he was supposed to have been a villain. But then, over time, he became an anti-hero and at one point even became a superhero before started going back to being an anti-hero. And now uh, rules his own borough of New York that, that, that has been left vacant for years. And this is the shirt that I was voting on. This is a Deadpool comic hero tee. And if you would like your very own, you can find them on my website, IamTheComicHero.com, for $20. Now, I, I, you know, I love the summer of superheroes. I love superheroes, period. I hate that I'm going to have to end it, but, you know, there's next year. So really looking forward to it. All right, it's time to get a free t-shirt. Around last week's episode, I asked which country in South America prints issues of the Flash and refers to the character and the book as Flushman. Well, the correct answer is Argentina. And nine people have answered correctly, and because they've answered correctly, the name's been entered in a drawing for a free tea. And that drawing takes place right now. So the winner of the free tea for this week's episode of the show is Robin Cooper from Limestone, Maine. So congratulations, Robin. Here's the free comic hero team. All right, here's the question for next week's episode, and this is a She-Hulk question. True or false? In the comics, Jennifer Walters becomes She-Hulk when she receives an emergency blood transfusion for Bruce Banner after being shot by a former client. Everyone who answers correctly will be entered in a drawing for a free tea on next week's episode of the show. So, I gotta ask, any questions? Questions are all All right, I have one question for this week, and it's from Katie Mayo from Spring Hill, Louisiana. She asked, if you were a comic book or superhuman character, what would your powers and weaknesses be? Well, Katie, um, that'd be simple. My power would be the ability to, to get better at things that I take on, and my weakness would be doubt. And honestly, that should be everyone's power. You know, it always, and I, I, you know, this is some word of advice, but always strive to get better at something that you do. Don't be so, um, don't be so content on where you are in life. Always strive to get better. Always strive to, to go higher. And doubt will, will set in, but ignore it. I guarantee you, it'll all pay off. All right, really loving these questions, folks. Um, if y'all have any more questions y'all wanna ask, go ahead and do so. Please, no personal questions. I will not ask nor answer them. All right, now it's time for Comically Speaking. So without further ado, let's talk comics! All right, there's only one thing we're going to talk about in this segment of Comically Speaking, and that's my review of She-Hulk Attorney at Law. Now, this show just premiered on Disney Plus two weeks ago. It's a half-hour show, and it stars Tatiana Maslany as the lead character Jennifer Walters in She-Hulk and Mark Ruffalo as Bruce Banner in The Hulk. Now, I love this show. 
This show is, is funny, it's witty, and it holds true to the concept that of, of the character that Stanley and um, John Buscema came up with when they created the character back in 1980. Of course, she uh, debuted in her own series, The Savage She-Hulk. And um, some folks don't really like it be, uh, because of you know, because of all the comedy. But if you've never read the comic book series, especially when it first started in in 1980, then you you don't fully understand the character. Now, there were times where she broke the... Uh, on every episode, she breaks the fourth wall. That happened in the comics. I mean, heck, that even happened on a um, on a cover. So, I mean, I love it. I think it's great. And uh, Tatiana Maslany is really um, knocking it out of the park. Now, one thing that really gets me is the actor who plays She-Hulk's dad. And I'm talking about Mark Lynn Baker. Now, if that name doesn't sound familiar to you, a role in a sitcom that he starred in will. He played the role of Larry Appleton on a hit sitcom, Perfect Strangers, that ran on ABC from 1986 to 1993. And um, it would be, I would love it. I would just love before the uh, before season one ends, if somehow, some way, Bronson Pinchot guest starred in some in, in some form. Now, for those of y'all don't know, Bronson Pinchot is most famous for playing the role of Balky on Perfect Strangers. Of course, Balky is was Larry's uh, distant cousin from a fictitious um, a Mediterranean country by uh, called Mepos. And um, I, I mean, when when I when I noticed this when I when I watched the second episode, I thought, yes, this is this is going to be great. And I can't wait for more. Now, I haven't watched the third episode yet. I'm going to watch it real soon. And um, I have to say two thumbs up. Now, uh, I'll say this. Now, there are some folks that, you know, they're, again, there are some folks that don't understand, you know, the character or don't understand, you know, the concept. But, you know, it, it wouldn't hurt you to, you know, to, to study up and do some, do some research on, on the character. You'll receive a lot, a lot more insight than you know now. All right, that's it for comically speaking. Now let's get to the comics I bought this week. Comic books I bought this week. <laughs> All right, first up is Action Comics number ten forty six. The Amazing Spider-Man number eight. Avengers Forever number eight. Avengers X-Men Eternal Judgment Day number three. Captain America Symbol of Truth number four. Detective Comics number 1063. Marauders number five. Radiant Black number 17. And finally, Robin number 17. All right, that's nine, which brings the total number of comics that I bought since December of 1997 to 11,543. All right, well, I hope y'all enjoyed this week's episode. And here's a question again for a free tea for next week's episode of the show. True or false? In the comics, Jennifer Walters becomes She-Hulk when she receives an emergency blood transfusion for Bruce Banner after being shot by a former client. Everyone who answers correctly being in the drawing for a free tea on next week's episode of the show. And congratulations to Robin Cooper from Limestone, Maine, who won a free tea on this week's episode. All right, here's the road ahead for the show. On next week's episode, which is episode 415, I'm going to raise awareness of childhood cancer. Now, childhood cancer 
I know some uh, folks that have died from childhood cancer. I know the parents of children that have died from childhood cancer. And I also know some survivors of childhood cancer and I know their parents and I know the parents of children that have survived as well. This episode is in memory of those who, whose lives were lost to childhood cancer and it's in honor of their parents. And it's also in honor of those who survived and their families as well. On episode 416, I'm gonna raise awareness of PCOS uh, PCOS stands for polycystic ovarian syndrome and it affects a lot more women than you think and there, there's a lot of things that um, that some consider taboo about this disorder but there's nothing taboo about it and I want to make awareness of this in two weeks and then three weeks from from today on episode 417 I'm going to raise awareness of prostate cancer now prostate cancer is one of the leading killers among men here in the here in the United States and also I'm going to have a guest co-host that's going to do a special segment with me. I'm not telling you who it is, but it's going to be spectacular. So tune in to that. That will be in three weeks. And then four weeks from today, on episode 418, I'm going to raise awareness of the NICU. Now, the NICU stands for the Neonatal Intensive Care Unit, and it's where children who who most commonly were bo are, are born premature are those that have been those that have been born with a very rare disorder spend their first days weeks or even months of life and um this um this episode is honor of any of any child or any or even any adult who was born and spent their um their first moments of life in the NICU it's an honor of their their families and it's also an honor of all the doctors and nurses that 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 work their hardest to bring all these babies uh to good health all right, if you're watching this for the first time on YouTube, welcome. And as soon as you're done, hit subscribe. And if you're watching this on the Facebook group, Comic Book Lovers, welcome. And uh, thank you for allowing me to upload this episode on your page. And um, yeah, really love doing a summer of superheroes. Can't wait to do it next summer. And um, folks, after this month, Sorry, Sam. After this month, it's going to be the ninth. I'm going to start my 10th year of doing the Comic Hero Show. I'm going to celebrate. It's going to be the ninth anniversary episode. I can't wait. I, I have a design for a shirt. Y'all yeah, are going to be able to see it in, in the coming weeks. And, you know, it, I'm so grateful and so thankful to do this episode. We do this show every week. And it's such a blessing, and I, and I love y'all, and there's nothing y'all can do about it. All right, I'm Victor Nolly on a comic here. I'll see you next week for episode 415. So until then, be safe, be blessed, be a hero!